What is your life purpose? How do you know if you're doing your life purpose? These are questions that I get a lot. And I think that people make it way too complicated. Life purpose isn't so much about what you do, but more about how you feel when you're doing it and how you feel about it all the time. Wouldn't it make sense that anything to do with life purpose would feel like it was purposeful in your life, that it brings purpose? Now, there's a, a whole bunch of things that you could do that are purposeful and would help other people or help your life. But it's not about doing things just to have a purpose. It's about something that feels like a burning desire in yourself. When you think about people who have a lot of money, like Richard Branson or whoever, people who are doing their work, making lots of money and having fun, they're usually doing projects and things that are fun to them. They like to have pleasure in their lives. Now, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there making a lot of money, and this is not about making money. I'm just giving some examples. Uh, Life Purpose doesn't have to about be about making money if you don't want it to be, but it absolutely can be. You can absolutely get paid to do something that you totally love. But if you're going back to people that are making a lot of money and experiencing a lot of pleasure, it becomes this thing where, where they do projects, they start businesses, they start partnerships, doing things that bring them a lot of pleasure. Pleasure. Think about that word pleasure. It's not just fun. It's not just sexual. What does pleasure feel to you? It's this feeling like, oh, like it's a feeling that is enlivening. If you say I was pleasured or I pleasured myself, okay? If you were pleasured or you pl pleasured yourself, that gives you a good idea of what pleasure could feel like, right? It's something that you embody. So if you actually feel pleasure in your body while you're doing a purpose, wouldn't that feel like they kind of go hand in hand? It would be something that would be sustaining and personal. The purpose itself can change. But the pleasure that you feel in doing the purpose would probably stay the same. Does that make sense? So you don't necessarily have to have a life purpose that it's written in stone and that's your life purpose and that's all you ever do in your life because that's your one purpose. No, because look at these people who get to choose what they want to do in the world and they diversify, they do it in different ways. Now, you might have a gift, like you might have a gift of speaking, or you might have a gift of some kind of art, or dancing, or writing books, or anything. You have some gift, something that you've always been good at, that you do pretty easily, it's just a part of of how you are. Maybe you bring a lot of peace. Maybe you offer people the feeling of um, encouragement or security. So those kind of things would be your purpose. Like that would be a driving part of your purpose. But you could use whatever that platform is, say you're good at speaking, and put that in as part of your purpose and maybe decide, you know what? I like to talk about this certain subject and it brings me a lot of pleasure. So I'm gonna focus on that. I might do a book and a speaking thing, or I might provide some sort of service that where I can use and expand upon those things. But the basis of a life purpose that would be sustaining because maybe you would change from 
speaking. Maybe you wouldn't always write. Maybe you would change it up. Maybe you would go hold retreats or uh, go work for somebody else, but do it in a different way. The how you do it is not so important as the pleasure you are getting out of it. So the way you know if something is your life purpose is does it bring that pleasure to you that would always sustain because you'd always feel the pleasure. Now again, what did I say? Maybe the how you do the purpose will change. Maybe you get bored of doing something some way, but you would still transition into doing it another way to continue feeling that pleasure of this purpose. Does that make sense? So it's not something like, oh, your purpose was to be a policeman or your purpose was to be a massage therapist. You could do your purpose in all different ways, but it's knowing that this purpose brings sustainable pleasure that you know that you're on the right track. And I do believe as you grow and as you change and as you meet new people and as you start changing how your life is because you're on your purpose, you will want to do things differently, but you will always find pleasure in what you're doing. Once you have reached this point of sustainable pleasure, you will continue to want to be out there finding new ways to, to serve with this life purpose, but it may be in different ways. That's how you know that you know your life purpose and that you are doing your life purpose. Now, some people might say, I'm doing my life purpose and they really love it and they get really excited about it and they do it for a while, but then it fizzles out. It's not sustainable. They thought it was, they thought this was the thing that was bringing them that pleasure, but then it didn't sustain. So, you went for it, but you didn't quite get there. So sometimes we do things because we're good at it or somebody told us we're good at it and we think that's what we should do. That's okay. I mean, that's how we grow. That's how we figure out what our purpose is. Sometimes it just takes getting out there and starting somewhere and seeing where it goes and saying, well, it did work for a while, but I didn't like this about it and I didn't like that about it. Let's see, how could I do it better? How could I have more pleasure at doing this? This is the question you want to ask yourself. How could I have more pleasure doing this? How could I have more pleasure in the work that I do? How could I have more pleasure in whatever I want to be doing in my life as a purpose? And you might hit or miss, but eventually you'll get there. So nobody can sit here and say, your, I mean, anybody can say anything, but to say your life purpose is ABC is really a disservice because it is part of how our personal growth is, our spiritual growth, and really learning about ourselves that you will open doors to understanding yourself more and more and more, and that will shift and change you. That's why I love bringing people on my spiritual journeys around the world because it's in those trips that you start uncovering parts of yourself that you didn't even know were there. I have so many clients that come with me on these trips, probably all of them, that will come on a trip and then find something in their selves that they didn't know was there and their whole life shifts. And now they're on this whole new track that's bringing them so much pleasure, so much connection with themselves first, and then the world around them, that now they just want to focus on feeling this way and living this way. And so they continue to be on their life purpose. And again, it can shift and change on how you do it, but the purpose itself of pleasure and feeling that sustainable pleasure will always be the baseline. And wouldn't it be lovely to live your life from a baseline of pleasure? Think about that for a minute. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comments below. If you want to join me for a, an amazing transformational journey, contact me through my website 
And uh, we have one coming up uh, to Hawaii. And also, I just want to tell you that we have an amazing trip to India coming up in 2022. So get on my list for that because that one is so completely life-changing. I am going to put the link to the video that I did for the last India journey in the description below so you can see a little bit about how I take you through an amazing adventure and experience. And every step of the way, you're learning so much more about yourself, opening yourself to your joys, your understanding, your heart, understanding your relationships, understanding why you do things you do, why you don't do the things you wanna do, how to get on your purpose, what is your purpose at that time, what brings you real pleasure. Wouldn't it be awesome to be able to nail that down for yourself so you can start really living the life that you came to live? And like I said, having the baseline of pleasure, what better baseline is there to live from? Because when you're in the state of pleasure, you are going to attract pleasurable people, situations, and things in your life. So what could be better? All right. Thanks for listening. Please remember to subscribe, like this video, share it, comment. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you all soon. Peace, namaste, and lots of love. Mm -hmm.